Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. I um, feel a little odd doing a video this early. I just got up a little while ago. Usually I kind of ease into the day a little bit, get my thoughts together before I do a video, but going to Pensacola this morning and um, need to get this one done and uh, get it uploading. So had my had my thoughts on it already. It's just actually getting up and doing it this time of day. Um, I'm, this was uh, one today. I hope it's going to resonate as well as some of the weekend talks. This one may be out there a little bit. Um, this one gets into talking about the self and stuff. And I, actually, the title is The Real Self, Cultivating the Witness. And this one kind of, uh, I like it when the themes I do on the weekend kind of tie in to my meditation practice and resonate with my meditation practice. So, Anyhow, let's get started. Um, and uh, before I get started, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, uh, please go down there and hit that subscribe button now, and then we'll get started. Um, yeah, this is stuff, uh, just different things I learn, I take from my meditation practice. The med my meditation practice is a lot of different things, and it goes in different directions, and it has lots of different meanings for me. Um, and one is just like actually, that's been something I, I don't know that I really thought about it that much in the beginning. It's kind of been this thought process of what part of this, what is my actual self? You know, we think of the self as many things as the self, this physical body that we see of other people or the, I mean of ourselves and other people. Is that the self of that person? Is this myself? Is the mind, is, are these thoughts that we're constantly having ourself? Well, Let's get into it, and um, I've got a couple of readings here, just a couple of things I came across that I liked. Um, this is called The Art of Being the Silent Witness by Ken LaDeRoot. I'm not going to read all of it, it's just a little bit in there. He goes into his story about how he got to, he was somewhere at a TED Talk. Um, entrepreneurs, I'm involved with my local Toastmaster Club, and I'm giving a workshop on marketing for conscious entrepreneurs at the end of the month, and I teach mindfulness meditation two nights a week. But with all this outer activity, my self-awareness never takes a back seat. My mindfulness meditation practice continues to imbue all aspects of my life. Um, that's something that kind of uh, resonated with me too, because I, I try to take my meditation practice away from just sitting and doing it out into real life. Um, the quality, flow, and focus of attention gained by mindfulness meditation makes my life efficient and easy. It has become my natural way of being. A rich spiritual life helps me stay grounded. When, I, when times get crazy, I return to the self. Please note, the word self with a capital S is used to define higher self and to differentiate from the small or limited egoic self. I can sum it up with one word, witnessing. Witnessing is a kind of an aloof, innocent quality where you don't get too involved in identification with anything. In witnessing, the mind is aware of being aware, but with fewer mental qualifications. This mindfulness allows for less thinking and more beingness. The mind is tricky. It is in a constant state of more. It craves more knowledge, more experience, and more me. Its primary thought is me. There's a lot going on under the hood or sub-mind like ego, conditionings, trainings, culture, history, memories, representations, beliefs, neuroses, addictions, emotions, positions, beliefs, likes, dislikes, etc. Witnessing is different from our um, compulsive preoccupied minds. Be the silent witness. When you witness or, ob or silently observe, you're aware that your body is not who you are. Hear that your body is not who you are. You are aware you are aware that your mind and emotions are not who you are either. You witness that only witnessing is your real self, the seer, the one that is doing the witness, the witness. You become an unidentified observer of existence. You are mindful. I like the Buddhist saying, strong back and soft front, which means that we should remain open and loose on the front but strong and well-grounded on the back. When you witness and take the thousand-mile view and see with this detached equanimity, while remaining firm and anchored in the center of your being with an urgency as if this was your, your last moment on earth, a simple joy arises. 
What would happen if you allowed everything in this moment to be just as it is? And that's it on that, that one. That was quite a rather short one right there, but it hit right to the point. It hit right to the point. And it hit right to the point about um, that's it. When you witness or silently observe, you're aware that your body is not who you are. You're aware that your mind and emotions are not who you are either. It's that witness. It's the one that watches. It's when everything gets quiet. And that's why I think um, I crave this and I want to go even deeper with it is because in those quiet, when you, and it doesn't happen a lot, even after over a year of sitting, you know, we all struggle with it. And that, you have that monkey mind running around. But when you get that glimpse, when you get that glimpse of just the witness in mind, it's, uh, it's pretty powerful. Um, the next one is a little bit uh, from Ram Dass's book, one of his books on cultivating the witness. I don't remember which one this is from. Oh, this is from uh, Ram Dass's uh, book, Polishing the Mirror, How to Live from Your Spiritual Heart. And this is a little short one too, Cultivating the Witness. One way to get free of attachment is to cultivate, cultivate the witness consciousness, to become a neutral observer of your own life. The witness place inside you is a simple awareness, the part of you that is aware of everything. Just noticing, watching, not judging, just being present, being here now. The witness is actually another level of consciousness. The witness coexists alongside your normal consciousness as, an, as another layer of awareness, as the part of you that is awakening. Humans have this unique ability to be in two states of consciousness at once. Witnessing yourself is like directing the beam of a flashlight back at itself. In any experience, sensory, emotional, or conceptual, there's the experience, the sensory or emotional or thought data, and there's your awareness of it. That's the witness, the awareness. And you can cultivate uh, that awareness in the garden of your being. Oh, excuse me, scrolled a little too much. The witness is your awareness of your own thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Witnessing is like waking up in the morning and looking in the mirror and noticing yourself, not judging or criticizing, just neutrally observing the quality of being awake. That process of stepping back takes you out of being submerged in your experiences and thoughts and sensory input and into self-awareness. Along with that self-awareness comes the subtle joy of just being here, alive, enjoying being present in this moment. Eventually, floating in that subjective awareness, the, ob the objects of awareness dissolve and you will come into the spiritual self, the Atman, which is pure consciousness, joy, compassion, the one. The witness is your centering device. It guides the work you do on yourself. Once you understand that there is a place in you that is not attached, you can extricate yourself from attachments. Pretty much everything we notice in the universe is a reflection of our attachments. Jesus warned us, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth, can, doth corrupt. For where your treasure is, there, there will your heart be also. Desire creates your universe. That's just the way it works. So your first job is to work on yourself. The greatest thing you can do for another human being is to get your own house in order and find your true spiritual heart. Um, yeah, this is just, uh, like I say, this is um, a concept I've really been becoming more and more aware of lately. And I, hear, I, I get in touch, but like I say, there's just brief glimpses of experiencing it like this and realizing, getting to and realizing what is that true self. Um, and the more that we cultivate that, there is just a piece and you can also go back to that. So anyhow, I hope this one was not too unclear. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Hope you're having a great weekend. Love you guys. Peace.